Today I'm going to show you my heatless curls technique for short hair. This is my beautiful friend Maria. She actually washed her hair yesterday so I've dampened it down and I'm going to show you how to achieve this in just two hours so you don't even have to sleep in it. The robe tie I'm going to use is just from a bath robe. So I've parted Maria's hair where it normally sits which is slightly off centre and I've done a little zigzag down the back. I'm going to emphasize that you go watch my original method first because I really do go into details about the technique. That way you'll be able to see the technique better because my arms are going to be slightly in the way here because I'm doing it on Maria's hair. If your hair is very, very straight, then you can use a product called Plea by L'Oreal. It is heat activated. So once you've wrapped your hair, you will want to put a little bit of heat on it from the hairdryer, which is far less damaging than using a tongue or a hairdryer. And that will help with the longevity of your curls. When your hair is shorter, if you want it to last, then you definitely want to do it on slightly damp. As you can see, I'm taking a section of hair starting at the very front and I'm looping that over the top of the robe tie and coming back out where it started. So it's a 360 motion. You're not weaving the strands like you would a braid. It's not changing positions. It's coming back to where it started. So definitely go check out my technique so you can see it in its full glory. That way you're not really missing anything in this tutorial. This is more to show you that it can be done on shorter hair. I'll also link on screen for you my latest tutorial on heatless hair curls. It's the reverse heatless curl if you are a side sleeper. If like me, you've got slightly thicker hair and you need to sleep in it in order for the curl to really take, but you're a side sleeper and it's a little bit uncomfortable, I will link that tutorial on screen for you because I've rejigged it so that it's much easier to sleep on. I got the idea of doing this on shorter hair from a friend of mine called Laura Bradshaw. She always uses my heatless curls technique for her hair, which is ever so slightly longer than Maria's hair. They both have finer hair than me, so hearing that Laura only used to leave hers in for two hours, I thought, oh, this is brilliant. I will show you guys it if you have similar hair to Maria or Laura, that it only takes two hours and you can achieve fantastic heatless curls. So remember, you are not braiding with this technique. You are weaving one strand over the robe, coming back out where it started, and then weaving a back section. If you want more voluminous curls in the back, instead of splitting your hair down the back and having two sections to work from, you can split it into three and then use something like a sock down the back. So then you'll have three weaved sections and that way you'll get more volume at the back. But that's completely up to you guys. I will show you Maria's hair in a 360 so you can see what volume and shape she gets at the back using this. Obviously she's got quite short hair so we are no way going to be able to include the very bottom of the hair but having that little bit straight at the bottom I actually really like it I think it adds to this look obviously when your hair is quite short you really do need to hold it quite tightly when you're doing this on yourself it will be easier because you can really keep the hair nice and taut so when you do get to the bottom just tie it off with a little clear elastic band these are the no snag ones so it's nice on your hair it's not going to cause split ends so this is how it looks and as you can see I'm going to turn around and you can see we've incorporated as much of the hair as we can. This bottom section is not going to go in but that's absolutely fine. You don't want a definitive line down the back because that will be more obvious once your hair's relaxed again. So I'm going to move on to the next section. Once again we're starting at the front and we are going to weave the very first strand back over the robe underneath itself and it will come back out. You can start with the strand behind or the front, whatever is more comfortable for you. I like to try and get volume at the fringe area or the bangs. I like those to be lifted so I find those are the ones I like to start with first so I always start from the front back but again it's completely up to you. Whatever's most comfortable and the more you practice this the easier it will be. A lot of you seem to think this is a braiding technique and I challenge you to try this as a braid. You can use the robe as the third strand. You will get a completely different curl pattern at the end. Again, it will be so beautiful, but it won't be exactly like this one. So definitely watch the first tutorial, get that technique down, and then you'll be able to give this a go. So I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the process. I won't fast forward it because I know you guys like to watch the whole process and then I'll come back and show you it once I've tied it off.
As you can see, I'm tying off the last part of this section. I love how cute it is, it looks so sweet. And I'm surprised how much I managed to get into this because I really thought more of this would be hanging out. So this is what we've got. I'm gonna turn Marie around all the way so you can see the back. You can see how much of the hair's left out. And then we've got a nice smooth finish to the hair. At this stage, you can apply a little bit more plea if you are using it and the hairdryer. If your robe is quite long, you can tie it up out of your way. It looks quite cute on the front but we're gonna leave it down and be back in two hours. So as you can see, we are now ready to take them out. You want to be nice and gentle with the removal. You don't want to make your curls fuzzy. So just gently remove them. It's so quick and easy when you've got shorter hair. And can you believe this is just after two hours and it's already on hair that's been washed the day before. We just dampened it down. The damper your hair is when you start, the more tighter the curl, and obviously the longer you leave it in before removing, the longer your curls will last. So I made Maria close her eyes because I thought it would be fun for her to see. It's not gonna look as amazing when you first take it out because you really do need to shake your curls out. It can be a little bit too tight of a curl pattern. You need to shake it out. And then I'm always a fan of flipping your hair onto the side because it really does give it that really sultry, sexy vibe. So this is how it looks when we immediately take it out. But once we've shaken it up, I will give Maria a little turn on the chair so you guys can see the back. So at this stage, I've got Maria to lean forward and give her curls a gentle shake. You don't want to create any frizz. So just shake it upside down and then flip your hair over. Initially, it will be quite big, but then as I say, flip it onto the side and then tame one side behind your ear slightly, just so it adds a nice balance and it will look super, super beautiful, sultry, sexy, great for a night out and it's all heatless and this is done in two hours. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it, Maria loved it. So I'm gonna give her a little spin so you guys can see the back. We have more of a tousled finish to the back, which is beautiful, it's not too voluminous and it is still a curl. Again, if you want more volume or more curls, add in that third section and curl it with the sock. So I absolutely adore this method on shorter hair. I think it's so beautiful. Don't forget to give Maria a follow. She's a pilot, she's super talented and so interesting. I'll also link Laura's channel if you are interested in seeing what she gets up to. She's another beautiful person. You can also follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram. I'll also link my hair playlist if you guys wanna see more hair tutorials and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye guys.